Hi, welcome to Simply Nash Media. Today we're going to take a look at the new QNAP TS453A. This is a brand new NAS, it's in a class of its own. Even though it carries the X53 moniker that we're used to from the 453 Pro and etc. This is the 453A and it's really just a whole separate machine. Um, you'll see why as we talk a bit more about it. It's not something QNAP has done before. Um, so, the TS453A comes in two bays all the way up to eight bay. Um, being two, four, six and eight, QNAP's general ranges and break up. Um, it's a great NAS for home and Soho, um, not really typically a small business, more a small home office um, for the main reason it's, it's processes, not what we do for intensive tasks, however it's great for what this NAS is meant for. It uses the new 14 nanometer Intel N3150 processor, um, that's a 1.6 gigahertz, it can boost up to 2.08 gigahertz if need be. Um, it's a 14 nanometer processor, which means the performance is fantastic on it. Um, but it also comes coupled with 8th generation Intel HD graphics. Now, this is the most important spec about this NAS. It is the most important spec for the simple reason it allows us to have double 4K output on this. There's two HDMI slots on the back of the NAS. We'll show you that when we turn the NAS around as we usually do. Um, but it basically means I can now have two streams concurrently of 4K video coming out. Or I can have, let's say, two monitors outputting at 4K at the same time. Now, why two monitors? Well, the TS453A is a dual OS NAS. Now, the dual OS NAS simply means the first OS is going to be QTFs. Um, it's what we need on our QNAP NASes to run our QNAP NASes. It's what we're used to. Allows us to use HD Station, Plex Media Server, um, DLNA compatibility, capability, sorry. Um, my QNAP cloud for our remote access and our personal cloud. So all of that is still available for you. However, the added functionality of Ubuntu OS now as well, which you can dual boot into. So that brings the two monitor equation into it. One monitor can be running QTS for you for your local access to your NAS, and the other one can be running Ubuntu. Now, why is Ubuntu important? Well, the main reason for Ubuntu on this, yes, you can do what you generally want to do with Ubuntu if you've got a Linux house and you're used to using Ubuntu for, let's say, a home lab, for instance. However, the main reason QNAP have built this in is for building of development and usage of IoT systems. So the Internet of Things is now the new big thing since about 2014. Um, it's supposed to boost really big in the next five years. The industry is supposed to grow to something like 100 million, 150 million. Um, everyone's now started going to home automation. I mean, we have nests in the office ourselves. Um, so QNAP have really built you a hub here whereby everything can just be built onto your NAS and your NAS can be your hub. This is especially useful because we have my QNAP cloud that we can leverage as well. So everything can be remotely accessed on your NAS too. So that kind of gives us the flexibility of having our home automation products available on the cloud, but on a personal cloud as opposed to worrying about whose server our information is on. So that's the first new feature of the QNAP TS4538. Um, well, sorry, the second, because we spoke about the 4K output, now we spoke about the dual OS. The third new feature is something quite fun. Um, let's say you decided to have a home party, um, you've got a party at your house, you're having a house party, you've got some friends over. The QNAP TS4538 can now be used as your own personal karaoke system. Um, there is an application that's just been released in the QNAP app store called Ocean KTV. The back of the NAS, which we will show you, will allow you to connect up to two mics and a speaker. Um, so you can really have a lot of fun with this NAS that we've never really done with a NAS before. Um, that's just a nice, quirky, nice feature on the NAS that you can have a little bit of fun with. Aside from that, we've got our general NAS features. Virtualization station is supported on here. You do get it in two SKUs, 4 gig and 8 gig version. 8 gig is the max memory. However, of course, if Simply NAS here, we'll be testing the 16 gig configuration to see if it's stable on this. If it is, then we will offer 16 gig on the 453A, well, the X53A range, just like we've done on the X53 Pro range. Um, but let's just spin you around and you take a look at the back of the NAS. Another tidbit as well, all of the X53As come with the QNAP remote coupled, it comes with the NAS now. Uh, main reason being because this is a NAS that is meant for HDMI access, so the remote will come in handy for sure. Um, it just makes it easier for us to control it. Let's say you do lose the remote though, you don't have to go buy another one. Remember you can use the Q remote app on the iOS and Android app stores as well. Um, but we'll turn you around, take a look at the back of the NAS because there are a few new connections at the back that you'd want to take a look at. So, taking a quick look at the back of the unit, um, you've got your big cooling fan at the back here. Here are the two new, well, three new ports, but I mean, we've had a speaker port before in the QNAP, that's not really new. These two 6mm jacks, these huge things over here, these are fantastic for fun. 
Um, they let you bug in two mics so you can have two people at the karaoke at the same time and they can have a good time. Uh, it's just for fun, really. Uh, but that being said, whilst they purpose this as for karaoke, remember you could probably use this as a loudspeaker system now as well. So there's a couple of different uses. I'm sure we'll figure out as we get to know the NAS a bit more what exactly we can use the mics for, karaoke being one. I'm sure we can somehow find a way to leverage it in a loudspeaker system as well. So that's, that's great. Um, if we can find a way, I believe the KTV app will also, the Ocean TV, sorry, the Ocean KTV app will allow you to also record the karaoke session. So if someone does really bad and you want to embarrass them later on, you've got that option too. And of course it saves to your NAS, so it's saved and redundant for life. Okay, moving on, next ports. Um, you've got two HDMI ports, that's for the 4K output. 4K output is not over the air, it is only local access on HDMI. We cannot send 4K using wireless technology just yet, the bandwidth just is not there. Your, your video will lag forever. Um, underneath the two HDMI's we've got our um, USB 3.0's, there are three USB 3.0's at the back now. Um, and at the front there is a one USB 2 3.0 port, I didn't point it out when we were looking at the front, but you can just rewind the video a little bit and check for yourself if you need to. Uh, down here you've got four RJ45's, this is fantastic. Um, it allows for major bandwidth, you can aggregate two and two, so you can assign two ports to your QTS and two ports to your Ubuntu and they can have their own network bandwidth and throughput. Um, that's fantastic for performance, means if someone's doing something heavy on the Ubuntu side, it won't hurt the QTS side. Um, so you can probably play a 4K video whilst you're also um, working on Ubuntu. That being said, that was a bit redundant me saying that because the 4K video is local. So let's say we'll stream a 1080p video. Um, but that's generally the back of the NAS. One big difference here is the 453A kind of carries on from the 253A whereby the PSU on the 4Bay is now external. Um, so you do have a power supply slot here, but you will have a big power block outside the NAS. Personally, here at Simply NAS, we prefer that. It means if something goes wrong with the power supply, it's not gonna fry your blocks. Um, so it's, it's great because it means all you gotta do is replace this block instead of having to replace a power supply unit inside the NAS. But that's generally the 4538. We'll We'll bring you back around the front and summarize the video. One more thing I do like to show you the NAS does stick, by the way, so it is quite safe. Another thing just to show you is, just here, if you look at the top of the NAS, you've got our MyQNAP Cloud. It does show in the video there. Um, so we've got our MyQNAP Cloud. It'll just allow you to quickly set up MyQNAP Cloud. You can use the QR code here. Alternatively, you can just log into the web UI um, and set up MyQNAP Cloud the good old-fashioned way. Okay, bringing you back around to the front of the NAS, um, you've got your USB 3.0 at the bottom there, right under the power cable. They don't allow you to um, basically do any one-touch copies. You can add an external drive there that's not for one-touch copy as well. Um, remember, USB ports are never hosts. They're only for accessing data and putting it on a hard drive or taking the data off the hard drive. It will never extend your storage. Um, the 453A is also compatible with expansion units. You can put one 800p and one 500p on there. Not two of them, but one or one of the other. Sorry, I said that completely wrong. Probably made it completely confusing. Let's say it again. You can put one QNAP 800p or one 500p on the NAS and extend the storage. I made a bit more sense, I think. Um, so that's really our, our summation video. Uh, Hitachi drives are sitting next to it because we recommend Hitachi NAS drives. Um, this is a home and home and Soho NAS. You don't need enterprise drives. You're not gonna do anything enterprise intensive. You're not supposed to on this box, so we're not going to... Well, you can get enterprise drives if you like, but it just doesn't make sense. You're not going to use the power HDSD NAS, the 7200 RPM spinning NAS drives, not like the other brands, which are 54 and 5900 RPM spinning drives. So you get good performance after the drive, you don't bottleneck your NAS, you don't break the bank like enterprise drives. HDSD NAS drives are on sale. Uh, we do have a sale going on at Simply NAS here for drives. We do send out mails. Um, we don't spam you, so if you do want to actually get the mails and actually see the offers that are ongoing on, they are, we don't do offers all year round, so you're not going to get emails all year round. It's generally Thanksgiving, December, um, and generally around March is when we really do offers. That's really about it. Um, our industry doesn't allow for that many offers, so when they do come about, we really do recommend you snap them up. Um, but HGSD NAS drives, we recommend them. 3 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte, 5 terabyte, 6 terabyte. Um, any size you want, get whopping capacity out of the 4-bay with 6TB drives, very, very cheap. Um, the 4538, the whole X53A range is live on our website at the moment. If you hover over the QNAP side on our manufacturer and go to Home and Soho, 
you'll see the whole X53 range there. They are also available on the SMB side as well. Um, but again, as we've mentioned, we really do recommend it more for a home and small home office as opposed to anything else. Uh, that's our summation. If you did like the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, that way you get notified when we do send out informative and fun videos like this. Um, that way you get to see my pretty face every day. Uh, aside from that, thank you very much. Give us a call if you want to discuss your options. If you think this is the NAS for you, but you're not sure, we'd love to help. Um, if it isn't the NAS for you, we'd love to help you find the right NAS for you. Give us a call, 407-960-4690. Simply NAS, your NAS experts. Have a wonderful day.